going on in these Australian pubs. It's true. But before that, we watched Katie Price do a live Bush Tucker trial. And here's a quick reminder of how it all went. The person the public have chosen to face the live Bush Tucker trial Aww. is Katie. I was thinking, oh, no, not again, because it's live, the pressure. I just I hate it. You're shaking. You it's really are tough. shaking. I got quite upset. I, I felt like I've started to cry because I saw her standing there and she was breaking it. Calm, calm down, we'll tell, you, we'll tell you exactly what you've got to do. How are you feeling? A bit panicky, aren't you? A bit nervous? That's right, calm down. Trust me, it's nothing for the cameras. She was shaking with fear. If you're watching kids, I love you. When she said about her kids, it was quite emotional, actually. Katie is incredible. I never thought I'd say that. She was so scared, there were tears in her eyes. You're going to give it a go? And then, all of a sudden, though, she just goes... <laughs> like Iron Man. I'm the huntsman. I've got to get the food. <laughs> and then she's impenetrable. In a way, it's probably good the group was there watching, so they sort of have an idea of what kind of things they put you through. But I think they're probably a bit disappointed as well, because I'm sure they want to do a challenge. And I don't want them to think, oh, why is it always Kate? Why is it always, always Kate, even if they don't say it? First up for the um, fantastic Katie Price was to push her face into this glutinous mass oh. of viscous, thriving, uh, like throbbing liquid. And underneath there, she pulled out a star. Oh, you know, big up, oh, no. she did it. Drop it down there. Hey, well done. Oh, oh. Go on, girl. You could just feel it more moving around your mouth and like your nose when you're trying to deepen it. Oh. Well done! Well done. Two stars on offer, two stars won. It stuck to her face. It, it was disgusting and it smelt disgusting. She had to go into a pool of crocodiles to collect the star at the bottom and I know she's petrified of water. Yeah, I have a fear, but at the end of the day, it was still water and I could see it wasn't deep, so I haven't got the anxiety of thinking what's under that pond. I could clearly see what was in that tub. <laughs> Got it. She's got, got, it. It. got it. Got it. Let's go to the Bush Tuck Shop. The worst one of all, I think, was when she had to drink <laughs> cockroach shake. I didn't even know that you could actually make a shake out of cockroach. It absolutely tastes like the smell of cockroaches, which is like a mouldy, musky, woody. I can't explain. It's just vile. <laughs> Makes you feel sick. But that must have been disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah. I may be hungry, but that's beyond the joke. You definitely want to pass on this yeah. one. Yeah. It's up to the group. Yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. The last one was horrible. I think definitely by far the worst thing about the trial had to be the last bit. You have to wear a cap. <laughs> Mamma mia! If I'm just thinking. Or some, you know, that is unbelievable, unbelievable. That's the best. Yeah. I don't think I could have done that. I'd have given it a go. I think I might have screamed my tits off. Yeah. I'm really happy with what I got, and they're happy because obviously I've got some stars for dinner tonight. I got more than yesterday. You know, who would not be proud of a woman who can do such a thing? I mean, it's it's uh, it's incredible, incredible. I've had enough. I miss my children. I'm hungry. I want, I want a nice bed. I'm absolutely ready to leave camp. I don't want to have to put myself through these horrible challenges. I don't like it. I'm so cold. Where's your towel? Where's all your gear in this rucksack? Oh, I don't know. I don't care anymore. You I'm so cold. I just said I'm going to go home. I can't bear it. Honestly, I don't need this. I'm just so cold. Here, yeah, look. Do you want underarm down here or just shampoo oh, conditioner? Just... Get my stuff and yeah, come back here and great. get changed. Why don't you take this whole bag you're, down? You're winning more ways than one, aren't you? You're getting food for the group and you're doing the tasks. You know, they're, they're yeah. not beating you, you're beating them. Yeah. To do that thing three days on the trot, she's so brave, honestly. She's like, she's like a ranger girl. I call her the ranger girl. God, watching it live like that is just really Thoughts surreal. On the trial? Yeah, me too. I got a bit emotional when she mentioned the kids. Yeah. yeah. Everybody seems to vote for her to do this kind of trial, which uh, I think is not fair. You see, other people want to try as well, and also 
it's not fair on Katie. I mean, every time she has to go through all that. I mean, you've seen him once or twice, but what's the point? It'd be nice to see other people to do it. Coming up, Kim's claws are out. Don't return after a few days in the jungle. Don't do it to me anymore, because I won't take it off your diet. And Gino's speaking the language of love. This morning, I woke up very horny. Would you like the chance to win a Nintendo Wii with your very own I'm a Celebrity video game? £10,000 cash and a shirt signed by this year's Jungle Celebrities. Watch carefully and tell us who the kids are describing and imitating. He laughs like a silly man. Ah! Is the former jungle celebrity. Is it A, Robert Kilroy Silk, B, Sid Owen, or C, Timmy Mallet? Call 09049 596 596. Calls cost £1 from BT Landlines. Calls from other networks may be higher and from mobiles will be considerably more. Or text A, B, or C as your answer to 83000. Text cost £1 plus one standard network rate message. Sky and Virgin Media viewers, press red. Or enter online for free at ITV.com. Entrance must be 18 or over, and lines close at 10 a.m. on Tuesday, the 24th of November. Entries made after the closing time will not be counted, but may still be charged. Welcome back, Thomas Celebrity. Get me out of here. They've been down in base camp for a few days now, and they've learned that life in the jungle isn't easy. Yeah, well, there are so many things to worry about. There's spiders, snakes, rats, and now Kim's got a problem with moles. Why don't you get those cut off? What? what? Cut what off? Those lumps you've got in your face. These moles. You're a good looking. That, that, and that, that. When you get to love them. Them. No, I'm sorry. I think you look much more handsome. You're a handsome guy. I couldn't get rid of them, they're my character. No, here. Oh, I like them. I love them. Can I say again? You love them. No, how easy would it be to have them? That's what I said to you. Oh, That's what I said to you. Why don't you get one of your boobs cut off? Kim and I, we take the mickey out of each other all the time. But she said to me today, just bizarrely, she said, I think I should go to the hospital and have these moles cut out. Now, I've got a real complex about these moles. I know it's not a big deal, but when I was a kid, I used to get called moly. And I was a bit kind of taken aback. Even though it's quite rude to suggest, darling, that I should just chop myself up so that I look better for you. You're a very good-looking man, dear. Well, I like to think I get by. You do get by, but, but I mean, why would you have those maybe taken off smooth skin? Well, you're a good -looking leave man. them. I love you, moles. That's how I know it's him in the dark. Oh, I think you know. Keep your moles. Don't lose your moles. Well, if, you, if your man says keep your moles, you've got to keep them. Well, he likes me the way I am, Kim. He's got the... You've not born with these white moles here, just here. I mean, nothing wrong with them. Because he's so good, so he loves his appearance. I said to him, why don't you get those taken off? And he said, how do you mean? I thought, oh, I've done a boo-boo. Kim just came up to me and she said, darling, there's something I've got to tell you. She said, I think you should go and have all your moles taken off. See, I like your yeah. moles. I don't think Justin realised that Kim was standing in her caravan in the doorway, like um, Marlena Dietrich at, this, at the door, and overheard and came marching down and think that he, thought that he was talking behind her back. But madam just decided that it was about time I went to hospital and had them all chopped off. Know, just, you know, like it, just cut your head off and start again. Oh. You're, you're, you're an old woman, do you know that? Why? Do you know, you turn around and say to me, I've got hair pieces, I'm old, I laugh it off. I turn around and say to you, why don't you get the moles off your face? You are so hurt. If you can't take it, don't give it out, Peckle. Oh, it's my turn, Katie. No, oh. but I'm not... No, but you shouldn't be talking about... We don't start this in this group. She just went off on one of our fabulous finger-waving kind of rants, exactly in the same tone as, uh, as Katie's yesterday. You are one of the most insulting people. You, could, you say things that I know you're only joking. Of course I what am. What a pity you can't share the joke with me, darling. Yeah, but there's a difference between saying take your hair piece off and go and get your face chopped up by...